We had our first day of hitting a uh, couple weekends ago, and we, uh, I took a couple shots to the head, and throughout the weekend we were up in Maine with our family, and I had a slight headache, and Monday it started getting severely worse, and then, was it Tuesday? It was Tuesday. Tuesday, um, it got to the point where I couldn't tolerate it anymore. I wasn't able to sleep, I wasn't able to concentrate or focus, I was, it was hard for me to walk and just pay attention. Everything was, it just took over completely. It was scary because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know, I knew I took a shot to the head, but I didn't know if it was a concussion or if there was something else going on or if it was just really bad headache. I had no clue what was going on. I was extremely worried that weekend and I tried not to, um, I tried to keep it to myself because um, maybe I am a bit oversensitive to the whole um, concussion threat and because he's my baby I don't want him to get hurt and um, he enjoys so many other things that I would hate for one sport to take him out of you know three or four other sports sports that he does enjoy playing. Ben was concussed once in sixth grade um, during a football game and since then we've gotten our hands on every bit of information possible to learn about concussions and that hasn't been hard because there's been so much research and discovery done in the last you know five or six years um, so knowing what we know about concussions it's been a, a constant worry for me especially with football but definitely with um, snowboarding and basketball that he also plays it's been a constant worry of mine knowing that you can't sustain very many concussions without worrying about uh, future lifelong implications. Tuesday night when I couldn't sleep, uh, I vomited twice and then we just, uh, my mom and I decided that we should go up there. They um, gave me, I, they gave me an IV, gave me morphine and that took the pain away. And then we went and took a CAT scan which came back negative, everything was fine. And then they, uh, so they sent me home. Um, once I was feeling better, they sent me home and we had talked, uh, we had decided that we were gonna come back for this baseline treatment, this baseline testing. My family and I had actually gone to a concussion seminar, um, I think it was a year ago, mm -hmm. and we had learned about baseline te uh, testing, and uh, when we had, when I was Tuesday, once we got home, we, it came up again, and my mom did some research and found out that it was going on at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center, so, we decided that it was something we should definitely take a chance to do and that could help us find out whether or not it was a concussion. I pulled Ben out of football for a week. It was between the time that we thought he had been concussed and the time that we actually had the impact test administered. So he missed a full five days of practice. It was excruciating for me because I know how much he loves football and you're only in high school once and um, I was not a very popular mom with not only Ben but many other people on the team. But I stuck by my decision because I knew it was a responsible thing to do and I tried not to let emotion play a part in that. The concussion program at Dartmouth Hitchcock was so easy for me to deal with. One phone call and I got a very prompt return call and we had the appointment set up within, you know, a, a couple of hours of my initial phone call. And we waited, I think, two days to be seen, which was great. And we had our answer the following day after he had the um, impact test done. and. Um, everything was explained so thoroughly they took their time and I, I really enjoyed listening to all the doctors in the clinic um, talking to other patients because they were speaking our language they were talking about sports and and situations that we dealt with before so I felt um, I felt very informed and very comfortable you sit down at a computer and it asks you for your name um, your birth date and then it gets into the test and it talks about it gives you a list of words and you have to memorize those words and then those words will pop up in a random order along with other words that haven't been on the list and you have to tell which words were there in the beginning and which words were separate so that test is your memory and then they go to a color thing they color test where you click the you click on the right mouse key for a, for a blue color and the left mouse key for a red color and you have to do it as fast as you can so that tests your reaction time. We found out once his baseline came back within normal range that he had not been concussed which was a relief so he still 
has just one concussion under his belt instead of two, and he's able to play normally um, and until we have a question about it again, we'll deal with it at that point. But it indeed was a migraine um, instead of a concussion, and it was just great to know that in such a timely manner so he could return to play. If it had been a second concussion, it would have been a very difficult family decision that we would have been faced with because we've talked about the what-ifs of a second concussion, and it would be a very unpleasant decision that we would have to potentially make, and that would be pulling him out of a contact sport, potentially for the rest of his high school career. No symptoms, no headaches, nothing since then. I've had, we've had a great season so far, so. And he's healthy. I know that the baseline test that I paid for was worth every penny, and um, I would do it again, and I would recommend it, and I'm considering doing it myself. I would definitely recommend baseline testing to my fellow players because I know that our, like, at our school we tend to go all out as hard as we can in practices and games. And I know a lot of my teammates have had headaches. Not, they're, not, they're not necessarily concussions, but I know that they've had headaches and some of them may be concussions. So if they had the baseline testing, they'd be there so they could always go, they could go and get checked out and it, they'd be a lot safer and it'd help their future. I'd just like to say personally thank you to Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center for being able, for giving me the opportunity to get a baseline tested and for letting me know that I was okay and that I am able to return to play.